The full-length version of this video is only available to premier members of the Smarter Real Estate Tribe. These video trainings are recorded live weekly to expose the secrets of successful real estate entrepreneurs across the country. To access the complete video library, including all exclusive mastermind mentor interviews, visit www.smarterrealestatetribe.com and join us as a premier member of the Smarter Real Estate Tribe community. All right. Well, guys, um, we're going to get started. It's top of the hour. Um, again, uh, weekly tribe trainings. I'm excited for this week. Um, I mentioned earlier, Larry's a bit of a celebrity somewhat in the last, you know, a couple of, couple of uh, months or so. And really the point of today's call is to go back and dissect a little bit about Larry's journey over the last six months. Um, six months ago, Larry hadn't done a flip. Um, he did have his real estate license at the time. And um, we've done some really great things. I, you know, I mentioned in the post and probably why you're here today is it looks like he's going to close out his first deal here shortly with potentially 70K ish profit on his first one. He's got a second deal happening. His third deal also got kicked off this, this past week. He's um, picked up a few agent commissions along the way. And so we're starting to see some momentum and some good things happening on Larry's side. So Larry and I, the last couple of days have kind of just been back and forth a little bit saying, what, what is it? Let's document and let's talk a little bit about this journey and um, what it is that we can do to look at and basically say, hey, like, how do we, how do we get more of that? Obviously, you know, on our side. I actually, I actually told this story quite a bit last week. I was at a family reunion, so it's a lot of discussion around like what I'm doing. You know, social media is powerful, and a lot of interest from family and friends and stuff. And so I've had these conversations a lot. But I'm actually going to go back three years, Mike, which is when I joined the tribe. And uh, I was one year into my real estate. I got licensed four years ago, so one year kind of into the, my real estate journey, and joined the tribe and kind of watched from the outside for three solid years. And in huh. January, as actually in December, I got a marketing email from you. <laughs> and uh, I, I replied to it and I said, do I need to do anything with this? Or is this just kind of like your end of the year? Like, hey, join the tribe. And you responded, no, you're good. But how can I help? Like, what can I do to make things different? And I just kind of opened up like, hey, I've just been kind of like this this guy that's looking in from the outside, watching everyone else, you know, flip homes and do big in real estate. And I kind of want to go to the next level. You know, as we had that conversation and you shared with me that you had this, this mentorship, you know, program, this one-on-one -on -one option, kind of like above and beyond the, the digital version of the, the mentorship that you can get in the tribe. Um, I, I, I put the money in and just went for it. And, um, it was kind of an interesting time because I had actually just lost my full-time job about a month before this. And I had started working in another full-time job and, and trying to hustle real estate on the side still. And within two, three days of us talking, I found out that I was going to win a little bit of money from an old, like a four-year-old class action lawsuit that would actually fund the cost for your program. And I also lost my new job. Um, the place I had started at cut the department and a couple of us were just gone within a day. And so I don't know if you remember this, but I called you back and I'm like, let's go now. Cause there was this like, Hey, let's see if I can put the money together and you know, maybe give me a month or two. Um, and so it, it, things just kind of clicked, kind of came together. Um, part of what we talked about back in January was this house I've had in Arizona for 13 years. And I was kind of buried by it. I owed a lot on it. I lost a hundred grand in it within the first year of owning it um, back in 07, 08. And so there was this question of like, do I keep renting it? I do have some income. I'm positive on the cash flow. But I, it was just a, a really awful situation in terms of how the loan was structured because it was private and it was with family. And ultimately, you know, through talking with you and others, it was the best decision was to sell it. So we threw that on the market. We made some money on that in April when it, when it closed. And that's allowed me to kind of float through the first half of this year 
in addition to working with you, you know, getting these, having these few things click the last six months from a financial standpoint, and then just being able to focus 100% of my time into real estate. I, when I had talked to you about that original transaction in Arizona, like, you know, as I'm listening, I'm like, you know what, like this, like you had mentioned was like a burden for you. Like it was just like this thing that was hovering and I feel like there's probably a thing like that in a lot of people's lives maybe right now. And I, and I talked to, you know, I'm on the phone all the time with different tribe members. If I'm not on the phone, I'm something's wrong. And, you know, I would, I would just say, you know, if, if there's something like that, that's hovering, you know, Larry, you said you've been on the outside for three years, kind of looking into the tribe and then you've just engaged in the last six months but when you started to engage and have that realization, like I was so excited when you made the decision to put that piece behind you. So I just stopped because if there's something like that, that's like in your life or uh, maybe it's a piece of real estate, another business venture, maybe it's a toxic relationship or whatever. Like, I feel like that was a release for you. As, as, as small as it may or may not be, and it's not part of, hey, this real income path that you've created moving forward, like if there's that thing in your life, I, like Larry just mentioned, like I, find it, identify it, and then just tackle that thing because it will provide so much more confidence for you in moving forward, you know? And I, I've totally. seen that, Larry, in you, the minute you made that decision and then we've been on the phone back and forth, hey, should I do this offer or this offer? What should I do? Should I reduce? Should I, all this? And once we got through that and that sold, it was just like this feeling of like motivation that just like became a light to you. You know what I mean? Totally. So I, yeah. I think that's an important thing because there are those things in our lives that do hold us back. Talk to me a little bit more about kind of moving forward from there. So you put that, you, you put that kind of behind you. We sold that asset. We got that. Mm -hmm kind of a hungry attitude, right? Of like, Hey, let, let's get me a deal, you know, <laughs> let's find something. And so just, just asking and asking and asking real estate agents, other real estate professionals, wholesalers, uh, homeowners driving for dollars, doing quite a bit of that. Um, this first deal that we're going to go through um, the first and second came through real estate relationships. So that, you know, other realtors or other guys in the business, um, and then the third deal that I just started actually came through a personal friend guy I went to college with owns a house here in Provo. He lives in Texas. He's been renting it out for a few years, wants to get it off his books. And he said, Hey, what if we, what if we did a JV on the, on the rehab money and that, you know, to go back to like the mentality, right. The shift back in January, February, starting to work with you and, and listening to Tucker, um, going through social media and being very intentional about what I post, when I post, how I post, letting everyone know that I, I'm in the game, that I'm a realtor, that I'm a, I'm an investor, that I flip homes and having people reach out now to me, right? Like today, not that I've arrived or anything, but today I'm getting more people that reach out to me Saturday night, 11 09 PM this past weekend guy reaches out to me. He said, Hey, would you want to buy my house or help me sell it as a realtor? and help me find another one to buy. Before we jump into these deals, you said something to me that was really cool. And it had really, it came through your wife. And I don't know if you remember this, but your wife one day, could, do you remember what this is? Do you, what, will you just share that? Because that, that to me is like probably the greatest part of your success. Uh, yeah, I, I agree, actually. And, and I'll back up to January, end of January, when I when I called you the day that I got fired from that second job. I I texted her and I said, hey, I just got fired. Can you come down here? I have a home office in the basement. And she comes down and I said, I just want to go 100% all in on real estate. And she said, okay, let's do it. And that was a turning point because always in the past, I, when I, I have these ideas to start something, you know, there's always this like, well, what are we going to do to take care of the family? You know, wh where's the security blanket? And um, timing was definitely right here this year. But she came in, you know, a few months later, she came into my office. One morning, I was down here working before she was up. And we started, we started talking, I started talking about my day and things I had to do. And she just stopped me. And she said, you love your job. And that was, that was huge. 
And what I want to do is just go through this and say, okay, like what was your thought process? Um, where was your mind at on it? What are the numbers coming in at initially? Um, and then kind of talk a little bit more about where we are exactly, you know, here today. And um, I think we also talked about BIA because BIA has been a, a, you know, part of this as well. Um, Absolutely. So we should, we should discuss some of those aspects. And yeah, know. two weeks ago on the two weeks ago when she was on the call, I, I actually wanted to chime in. I was driving and it just, it wasn't ideal, but I, I wanted to fully endorse <laughs> Bia's skill set and her, her brain power. Cause 99% of the compliments I'm getting on this house today are because of what she helped me put in there. Um, so this, this was brought to us by a real estate agent. Um, the owner of it inherited it from her dad. She was in her sixties or so. And, and her dad had passed away in his eighties. And this is, this is probably 30, 40, 50 years of deferred maintenance on the property, on the yard. Um, they actually had it listed for almost 40 grand more than we picked it up for. Um, which was great because we were able to just kind of negotiate behind the scenes and, and get it down. We, we, well, and, we a, little... and actually Larry, it was a thing where they were, they were thinking about putting it on the market and then right. we came in prior we to. Came in right, right. Yeah. Right. Before all that happened. So the numbers on this, again, we, we negotiated the purchase price at, was it 280, 280, 285? 285. Yeah. Can you see it now? Yeah, I can see the after photo now. Can you see that photo yep, that I just yep. switched to? Okay, we're good. All right, so before and after, uh, we didn't have to touch the roof. Um, we it's Mainly the exterior was cleaning up the yard and, and painting it. Um, I did have Chase Scott, who's local, come in and, and power wash everything uh, in terms of like the driveway and, and the front and back porches, um, which, were, which were awful. Um, this house was built in 1900, so it's got a really... it pumps out through a sump pump system. Uh, this is the kitchen. I, I believe that, that floor was white <laughs> at one point. This is the after here. That pantry was there. Um, it, they used it more as like a closet. So we, we kind of opened it up and made it into a proper pantry. We threw some white oak uh, engineered wood floor throughout the house, uh, new carpet. Uh, with Corey Johnson here locally in the in the bedrooms. Um, again, backsplash tile, uh, countertops. That's all the, uh, the 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 floor and the cabinets were were me and Mike. Uh, the, the cabinets actually, <laughs> the the white ones were, would have taken twice as long to get to us, so we went with the gray shaker and then just kind of did everything off of that. This is uh, the back, the, both bedrooms. So it's a two bedroom, two bathroom house. Both bedrooms have attached bathrooms. This is the back one. It's the back bedroom here. Looks a little better. Uh, front room. Do you remember Larry, like first time, like walking into that front room and kitchen, what you're thinking? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was thinking these, these pictures, these pictures, make, <laughs> these pictures make it look pretty good, dude. I'm like, it's, no, I know it, it really does actually like walking in from the front, which I think I have that perspective here. I was like, wow. It's like, you know, you walk in, I, I had walked into a lot of homes by the time we walked into this one. Um, and this actually wasn't even the worst of what I had seen, but it, it was, it was, uh, this thing had one, one big thing this had going for it was it did not really smell. Um, it was dirty. It was gross, but it did not smell like I walked in some, some clean homes that had a lot of cats <laughs> and they just, the smell is awful. So two, so two eighty five on the purchase. Yep. Um, it, I mean, these, these, uh, afters are looking really great. I think those, are, those of us that have been in the business for a while, look at this and go, yeah, this is kind of what we do, right? Buy yeah. it grab the dumpster, get this sucker cleared out. We go backwards for a couple of weeks in terms of like demo, or whatever has to happen that way. And yep. then we can start putting finishes in. Um, in terms of like strategic moves on this house, is there anything that like pops out that someone's looking at this and they're going, hey, you know, these were, these were some solid moves. I think you mentioned maybe one, like just be a brink coming in on some final touches is always nice. If you have a, a recipe that you've used in the past that works great, we need to bring somebody in like a Bia, um, mm -hmm. like Larry did on this one. Mm -hmm. um, what, what are some other thoughts um, on it? 
I think the landscaping is is big here. Um, it's kind of this nice, quiet little street near downtown Salt Lake. This this home, this backyard is kind of like a little secret garden. It was super overgrown. That ivy running down the fence came out about six feet from the fence when we when we picked it up. You can see it. It goes down to the ground and just kind of crawls along the the floor there. It actually you can't see it in the picture, but it actually was crawling up the house on the other side. <laughs> um, and so um, I think that that'll go a long way. We've had a lot of people comment on how beautiful the yard is. And it's just kind of this quaint little unique thing in downtown Salt Lake city, you know, um, it, it's got a driveway. It's got a one car garage also kind of rare for the, for the neighborhood, for the area. So the other thing is to point out on the rehab. I mean, it looks filthy and dirty and it was, but in terms of major rehab aspects, no roof, no, right windows no HVAC. Just like four like four windows i think we replaced yeah we had to do four windows um we had to do um no hvac no water heater it, those had been done recently enough and um sweet yeah, there, there tell me more. this so two so so 285 we're in we're in right now about how much it ended up the rehab being a little bit more than we thought. We put a little yeah. bit of nice finishes in that thing. Yeah. 64, 60, 64 K. Yeah. So 64 K to date right now on that. So I can which, actually share that here. I've got, uh, I've got that here. Which honestly, Larry, like up front seems a little bit high just based on, you know, if we're not doing windows, oh. not doing roof, not doing HVAC, this sucker mm -hmm. is about what, what is it? 12, 13, it's 1300 square feet to two. Um, we did have to redo, you know, pretty much both bathrooms, you know, that, um, there's quite a bit of work really in that kitchen and opening up that wall just a little bit. Yeah. Um, and so this is kind of how it shakes out in terms of like, you know, some hard money lending and, uh, both on the purchase and the rehab, uh, and where it's listed today at 475. And I think we'll get that for it or we'll get close to it. So we're so looking at like 69 yeah. to 74k in, in total return on this one. So talk to me in terms of the financing, how did you go about the financing on this particular one? Uh, so financing was done through a local hard money uh, lender, uh, Jason Briggs. So you ended up paying how much on the points and stuff? Yeah, so it's it's all laid out there on the six. Can you see my Excel sheet? Oh yeah, there it is. So yeah, two okay, points. Sorry. Um, two points, would you do two, two and 10 probably? Yeah, with says, I think it's a two and 12. So two and 12 there. And then, um, you had a third or a second position come in at three. Yeah. Yeah. Three, three and 12. And I mean, I'll say that I, I actually am, I'm, I'm playing the second position on this particular one for Larry. Yep. Um, to view the remaining portion of this training video, become a premier member of the smarter real estate tribe where we are focused on one thing, getting you results and doing what you've always wanted to become a real estate entrepreneur. To learn more, go to www.smarterrealestatetribe.com or click on the link below. Hey, what's up, Tribesters? I hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely, you wanna see the next one. Click on that right here and hit the subscribe button. And down below, we've got all the comments. Listen, I wanna hear from you. Our team and I wanna put videos together that help you either launch or improve your existing real estate business and helping you make more money. So hit the comments, check out the video, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you on the other side.